So this question says, which of the following complex numbers is equivalent to 3 minus 5i over 8 plus 2i? So this is a simplified question. We know that because it's only a little over one line long. Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long. However, um, what we need to simplify here is this fraction. What's wrong with this fraction is that we have a complex number in the denominator, which is not allowed. We must multiply. In order to get rid of that complex number, we need to multiply by the conjugate, which is basically the same complex value as the denominator, but with the sign in the middle switch, so from plus to minus. Now, when I multiply this all out using FOIL, I have uh, 3 times 8, which is 24, 3 times negative 2i, which is minus 6i, negative 5i times 8, which is minus 40i, and then lastly, negative 5i times negative 2i, which is positive 10i squared. In my denominator, I do the exact same thing. I get 8 times 8, which is 64. 8 times negative 2i, which is minus 16i. 2i times 8, which is plus 16i. And 2i times negative 2i, which is minus 4i squared. So I want to simplify this further. Um, i squared is equal to negative 1. So therefore, this positive 10i squared turns into a negative 10. And this negative 4i squared turns into a positive 4. So when I simplify my numerator, 24 minus 10, I get 14. Negative 6i minus 40i, I get negative 46i. When I simplify my denominator, the negative 16i and positive 16i cross out. And 64 plus 4 is 68. Now, I can reduce this fraction. I can easily tell that by the fact that they're all even numbers here. So I can divide everything by 2, which would leave me with 7 minus 23i divided by 34. So that's as far as I can reduce the fraction. So then I look at my answer choices. The first thing I notice is that I got an answer that is a single fraction, whereas all of my answer choices are separate fractions, two fractions. So how do I turn my single fraction into two separate fractions? Well, it's really the reverse of adding, subtracting fractions, which says as long as you have the same or common denominator, right, you can combine the numerators. So the opposite of that is I take my denominator and separate it out, and I separate my numerators. So this fraction here is the same as these two, which gives me an answer of choice C.